Right, so on to actually bootstrapping our application. I am currently in the public directory, which is where we've discussed users will land. Uh, there's nothing in here at the moment, but let's create a, a new file in here. I'm going to call this index.php. So let's just save that out as index.php. And this is where your uh, obviously users will land on because uh, I have this set as a index file. So now what's going to happen is within here, we want to require in the initialization file. And the initialization file is basically uh, stored within app. And you don't really need this, but it's nice to separate it. And the initialization file will require in all the core components that you need. So let's do a require once on app init.php and obviously we've done a double dot dot there just to go back a directory because we're in public we need to come out of here into app and then we need to call the init.php file now at the moment this obviously doesn't exist we get a warning here so let's create this inside of here and we will call this init.php for initialization so we now need to require in the two core uh, files basically or the two core classes that we're going to be using and that is within the core directory so let's create these two core um, files and I'll explain a little bit about what these do the first one is app.php so this is a class we won't actually uh, define this just yet but this is going to be what you call a new instance of in fact let's uh, just define this out and within init, we want to require this in. So let's do a require once on this. And it's obviously within the core directory. So we say core app.php. So now within index, what we can do is we can say app is new app. Or well, we don't really need to define uh, brackets because there's no parameters to pass through. So this now is, called, is basically creating a new app instance. And this is where we... Uh, well, the reason we don't need to create lots of different files. So say if you had a, I don't know, a contact page, you wouldn't go ahead and create a new file in here in public and call it contact.php. You'd handle that within your controllers. So onto controllers, we also need a new file, which is going to be our controller core. And this is going to allow us to access methods like view and model to load in models and render views. So let's call this class controller so let's save this inside of our core directory uh, so we've now got app and controller perfect so let's uh, just require this in as well there we are so now we've bootstrapped because we've created a new application instance so this is instantiating the app uh, class that we've created there so that's now created an app object we'll go ahead and in here uh, create like a construct function which will do things when we load this up and controller is going to you know do things like models and views and things like that but now this is working so when we refresh everything should be okay perfect so just testing this out then if we create a construct method in here and we just echo something out there we are. We can now see that that should all work. Perfect. So we've actually successfully bootstrapped now. This is all working and uh, we can now move on to actually root things.